Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I'm gonna do some arena. And let's uh, look at my lineup. It has been changed uh, since my uh, last video on arena. Basically, I just uh, replaced Safric with Renee Van. I'm also uh, changing around my uh, aid. And uh, I think the, one of the most important aid you could have is Pangoli. Because uh, what he does is <clears throat> not only increase your hero attack rate, uh, but he also give immunity for your hero for a couple of seconds. But uh, they didn't say it in the uh, hit skill, which is uh, strange. Um, so yeah, so uh, if you go look at high rank player, pretty much all of them have like uh, Pangoli on all of their uh, hero. Eight, but right now I only have one Pangoli, so um, I'm, I'm working to get more. I also have like 28,000 jewels saved up for a very big hiring, but I haven't uh, seen that good uh, event to roll them on. Uh, I'm still waiting for that event, especially the. Um, Lord's Gone Wild event. I love that event. It rewards you like uh, shards and mutagen rings and stuff like that. So uh, let's go into arena. Right now uh, I have 11 chances. I think I'm going to do arena episode every week because uh, I, I usually do them every day when the uh, chances reset. <clears throat> yeah, I've been sick for a couple of days, so I couldn't upload uh, the video that I want. Also, uh, last two days, I meant to upload the arena video, but I accidentally delete both of them. So I gotta redo them. Uh, I just forgot something. I should have used a Pangoli Divine from the get-go. But uh, yeah, that's that's what happened when you do like a commentary on the video and you completely forgot well, what you want to do on the game. So uh, that's a downside to it. Okay, I'm thinking I win this. Let's uh, redo that. For the opponent, uh, for the day, you can have as many go as you want without losing your uh, chances. So you can do it over and over again. And uh, this is my uh, setup for arena. Basically I put everything on the back because uh, that gives me an extra second to uh, power up. So uh, that's why I put all my monster on the back. Uh, beginning of uh, all these uh, video and stuff, I used to put my monster on the front but um, a, a better strategy is uh, to put them on the back. Okay, let's start. Let's use Pankoli Divine on the get-go. That way I can push all the uh, tank all the way back so I can target all the uh, damage dealer on the back like Pangoli right here. And then I'm going to use Pankoli skill. For me, you know, pen, um, the enemy's Pangoli is the biggest threat because uh, if he have a high level enough, he could take out my whole team with uh, like two, two swipe. Uh, yeah, I don't think I will be able to take this guy out. Nope. All right, uh, yeah, let's go to the other. The other challenges. Shaolin. Let's see what this guy has. <coughs> okay, this guy has four tank and one Pankoli. Uh, I don't think I can go against that because 
uh, all his tank is a high level than mine, but he has four. It can't take a lot of time to just defeat two. Okay, that's uh, two okay tank, two good tank. We have a sharpshooter, Q on, and a, an A van. I might be able to challenge this. But that the Hydra Sword, he's he gonna heal up his whole team, so that that's a big problem. If his Hydra Sword isn't uh, the high of a level, then I, I might have a chance. But what, what I'm worried about in this team is that, that Kiron, he might uh, use the uh, sharpshooter strategy. And that could be devastating. I'm going to skip this guy. And that's the same guy. Yeah, sometimes you have to do a lot of reset to find the right foe. Score mage. Man. Their tank level is too high. So I'm, I'm at a point where I'm doing a refresh often. Because uh, you encounter a harder opponent, at each rank you go up. I think this guy's doable. He's. Uh, I wonder what his uh, monkey skills are at. Monkey can be very good for Rita because he he disable uh, the opponent uh, skills the furthest. Let's use uh, Divine Blood Cap. Monkey haven't died yet. And uh, when I see like a very high level Pangoli, I tend to just skip that team. But uh, who knows, you know, their, their hero skill might be low and they don't have a divine. That's the same guy. Pretty high level Pangoli. Three uh, strong tank. Actually, four. That's not gonna happen. Okay. Look like this guy might might be going after the wizard strategy, or or maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just go for it. Use my goalie skill. I mean, does that look cool or what? Most of the time, uh, Pankoli target like a uh, front row tank and push him back all the way in the back. That give you chances uh, to uh, kill the like back row damage dealer. My pound is dying. And once a while I encounter an enemy that has a divine skill 
and the level is higher than mine, so sometimes that's how I lose. Yep, I'm not gonna win this one. So what I'm trying to get is this uh, Baron right now. The highest ring I go is Overlord. But you're talking about a lot of refresh. I'm outdoors right now, so you might hear some like a plane sounds or a car sound, stuff like that. Okay, uh, this guy might be doable. Hopefully he doesn't have any divine skill. No, don't push Pangoli back. Actually, I want to fight Pangoli. Hopefully, he take out uh, his uh, Renee Van. I don't want her to resurrect anyone. Let's use a uh, Blood Cat. Can I win this? Well, the pound is down. Okay, look like uh, he has divine skill for his Bengali. But uh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm winning. The thing with uh, Divine Skill and uh, Defensive Base, I mean, they use the Divine Skill at at the most awkward time. The timing is not uh, that, that great. Is this, is this the same guy I'm watching? You know what, let's go for him. See, uh, that's what I want now. I want to fight the Pinkoli first. And a Blitz Bomber. He could be a threat. If you level him high, uh, high enough. Especially the hero skill. Blitz Bomber also have a divine skill. And it's pretty strong. But I don't know if this guy have a uh, divine skill or not. Okay, so my pounder is down, his pounder is down. Now his blitz bomber is down. I still have four hero left. Renee is uh, going down. You know, that's kind of strange. I put Renee Van like uh, in the back of Arctic Lord, the placement, but then she ended up dying first. I think the reason is that um, when I use my Arctic Lord skill, he changes the position, like uh, what you see here. So he's second in the position, but when I use Arctic Lord skill, it changes the position and uh, put Rene Van up front. So uh, I think that's what happened. Uh, this guy looked doable. Fairly uh, weak back row. Hopefully he doesn't have like two divine skill, a powder and a pangoli. That's a perfect hit right there because uh, you're putting his uh, back row damage dealer up front.
excuse me. I still have the cold. Okay, let's pound it down. Split bombers down, let's pan is down. Got my wing up to Baron. Let's check out this guy. Two tank. And three damage dealer. The thing about flying unit is that uh, melee unit like uh, I think Lord and Pounder couldn't hit him. That's the only downside. And Sephric's pretty strong too. I mean, the uh, mercenary for Sephric is pretty powerful if you level uh, his mercenary level up. Can I win on this fight? Never know, let's try. Okay, so yeah, I'm pushing uh, that three sort of like tank back. Sephir could be a strong tank too. I've tried him as a tank and it worked out pretty good. Because uh, Sephir HP is, is not too low, it's not, you know, it's better than most, uh, it's better like better like this bomber, score mage and stuff like that. So if if you need like a, a substitute tank, Sapphire could be used as a tank. Okay, I'm winning. You know what I need to do? I need to skill up my Kiron because he's only at 8 of 20 right now. That's pretty low. I tried to use the sharpshooter strategy, but I don't feel like putting Pyro Pete in my lineup, you know, because I don't want to uh, waste a whole bunch of souls and rings on them because when you're when you're high enough level you don't need a sharpshooter strategy you're going to use other characters instead or this team Look like my team. You know, and let, let's see who's gonna win. Just uh, hope they don't got divine skill. That's if if they have divine skill, it could be it could be very difficult to win. Use a pounded divine skill. So far, we're on par. Come on, take out the Pengoli and uh, Renee Van. Okay, my pound is down. Uh, I think. Not yet. So you see in the little icon on top of the hero, that means the aid is Bengali. It'll give them uh, immunity for a couple of seconds before they die. So yeah, this guy has like a Bengali aid for 
most of its master and I hate that yeah I think I'm winning his, his pancoli is still alive I guess he he do have a device skill for his pancoli I mean he do have a divine skill for his uh, pounder yeah sometimes I get uh, mixed up like that because I don't edit uh, most of my video I don't edit stuff I don't take out stuff so I might uh, say like a wrong thing if you got cash that just put it in the comments so uh, yeah help help other people out that's watching this video uh, new to the game okay <laughs> this team's weird five tank I, I hate encountering this kind of type of team because uh, not only the level is strong but if they have a divine skill for the pounder and stuff it's going to be very difficult to take them out okay uh, we're on par right now, nobody's dying Use my divine blood cap. The pounders now. I mean, uh, pounder divine skill will take you will take you far in this game. So I think he's uh, one of the most important uh, character you can have in this game. So if you don't have pounder, just save up your rings and buy them. And that's what I do with my pounder. I bought them with rings. And later on I roll a couple of more pounder. Do I regret buying pounder with rings? It costs like 5,000 rings or so. And no, I don't regret it. I think he's a great character. Definitely worth uh, all the rings. See, that's what I hate about fighting uh, the Abyss Demon, because he heals himself. And if you have a high enough level, he could, he could be very good. So I think I, I got lucky, because uh, that foe doesn't have any divine skill. Okay, three, three tank and two back row. This guy seems difficult, but you never know. Let's go for it. Again, let's hope they don't have a divine skill. I use my blood cap. So far I'm losing. Okay, so this guy is... Uh, he might use the wizard strategy. He put most of his skill in the skull mage. That's how he was able to take down my hero so fast. Okay, I have two more tries.
the level is too high. I don't think so. Now I'm gonna skip this one. There, my pangolis level is too high. Okay, we have four tank and a fine collie. Let's go for this. I haven't uh, seen uh, Dark Rider Divine Skill anywhere, and uh, I heard if you max him out, he's pretty good at tanking, especially in arena. So the pounder's down, the pencoli's down. They have three tanks left. Uh, basically what the the dark rider divine skill does is it drain the opponent's uh, health and HP and uh, I forgot let's uh, take a look at what it does after this fight Wow, this is a close fight. I don't want to level up the Dark Rider because uh, he's a pretty weak tank. I'd rather put all my point into Arctic Lord or Pounder. So uh, he absorbed damages for all for all ally hero for 20 seconds and deal damages back to them also stun them so that's a pretty good uh, divine skill for a tank I mean I wish they put that on like Arctic Lord or something that'd be great but Arctic Lord uh, divine skill is not bad either Immune for attack for 10 seconds, that's pretty good. And deal uh, a bunch of damage to the enemies. But he doesn't stun them, so that's a downside. So we got one more try. Okay, let's try this guy. Divine Blood Cap. Come on. Their pounders now.
one of my uh, most uh, expensive resource in this game is mutagen. I mean, it's more precious than jewels. So if you have mutagens, save them. Don't you don't know, waste them on on the heroes that might not be uh, as much uh, useful. If you spend your mutagen on like powder, then you know you're not wasting your mutagens because because uh, your tank is as strong as your lineup. So I recommend you to uh, your first divine skill should be a powder because it will take you a long way. I mean, if you have his divine blood cap, he could be blown through a campaign clash easy. So uh, there you go guys, uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share the video, I will have more content for you guys soon, take care.